Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Oh, it's good to be recording again. It's been a little bit of a... Not a hiatus because I've been uploading, but... I uh, took a little break to go down to uh, Cedar Point, which is... Man, just like the greatest roller coasters of all time. For sure. Ooh, we haven't seen this transformation yet. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that one's scary. They're all scary. To be honest. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to save eggs. Yep. And to save those eggs, we have to find... Uh, we have to find the Gurudu Fortress is where, is where some of them are. What's nice about being a Zora is you don't... I mean, you can swim all around and... Like, the diving with Link just sucks sometimes. You just want to be underwater and explore things, but you can't. Oh, I gotta remember how to get in here. There's, uh... I don't think... That, I think you have to go around this side here. <clears throat> um... And yeah, you can walk on... Walk on the, the floor. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait. Dive. Dive. There we go. Um... I think you punch these. Wait. No. Let's see what Tattle has to say. Yeah, it looks strange. What what does that have to do with anything? Alright, there's a... Oh, there we go. There we go. That's how you do it. Press R and run into it. Or maybe you can just run into it. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can just run into it. Okay, let me turn around. I think it's this this one on the right over here. Pretty sure it's this one. No, it's the last one I checked. It's always the last one you check, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, Cedar Point was a lot of fun. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It was just a lot of fun. <laughs> just went on Saturday, the 16th. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, now we're in this little fortress area here, and if any of the Gurus see you, just like in Ocarina of Time, they'll kick you out of the area. And I'm not sure. I think they kick you out into this general area, or maybe even back outside. I'm not. I don't. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, for this section, what we can do is just swim underwater. Just wait until they pass by and just go right underwater. Uh, don't bother going, like, trying to get into an entrance above the water. Oh. Um, just right over here, actually. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I think we have to turn this off. Yeah, we have to turn this off or something. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. Let's wait for this one. Good. Okay. Oh, you didn't see me. You didn't see anything. Okay, well, at least we get to see where we get spit out at. Oh, right over the... Oh, that sucks. Oh, might as well grab this. Oh, hey, what's up? What are you doing in a place like this? What? Uh, but I'm okay. Well, actually, the pirates in the fortress are all women, and better yet, I hear they're all gorgeous. What's with Zoras and liking humans? It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy! Like, Princess Rudo and liking Link so much. Jeez, jeez. That's a little ridiculous. A little ridiculous. Interspecial relations. Yeah, like that word? Yeah. Alright, well, uh, you open that gate over here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, one thing we can do, though, uh, you remember how we got the, uh, stone mask earlier? That guy, we couldn't see him. Well, it'll do the same thing for you. Uh, people won't be able to see you. And that's, that's one way of doing this, and I'm actually gonna take advantage of that fully. Uh, stone mask right here. Just take this off, and then put the stone mask on. As soon as... Oh, fuck. I guess we have to get right up there. Man. Five minutes in, and this is all we've been... All we've gotten. It's the entrance. Oh, God. Shut up! Um, yeah, just... Try to avoid being seen, I guess. I don't know. Usually I'm, I'm pretty good at stealth. Well, I mean, I love stealth things. I love stealth games um, and sections of games where you can where you can go stealthy. I think that's a lot of fun. 
Especially undercover type things. Those are really fun. Leave me alone. Yeah, this uh, this thing uses magic, but it's basically a shield and an attack. Yeah, see, so I just killed that fish. And that's super handy. Like, It's going to be one of your main attacks. Like when you're swimming. Alright, run up here, run up here, run up here, run up here, run up here. Take this off. Put the stone mask on. There we go. Nice. Oh, well, looks like we have to be a Goron. Remember these from the uh, Snowhead Temple. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about that hookshot target. Can't really do anything about that. It's pretty obvious what we do have to do, but we don't have a hookshot yet, so don't worry about it. Bam! That was a little <laughs> a suspenseful uh, time stop thing. I don't really know what to call it. Pretty much a glitch, basically, but... <laughs> Alright, just... Go down underwater here. And we're pretty much good for a little while. Uh, we have to go in through, like, the sewer system or some shit. Not sure exactly what it is. And it's been a while since I played this. I I look I look up a walkthroughs, what I have to do. I, like, get, get a mental order of things, just so I can get, like, the fastest... I mean, I just want it to be a quality playthrough, but I'm, I'm not, like, looking up exactly what to do at exact, like, so I'm, I'm kind of seeing this for the first time. I'm not like, okay, I know I have to go left here, I know I have to go right here. I just, I've played the game so many times, I just write down hookshot, and, for example, and then I'll know, okay, I have to get the hookshot at this point. And I'm just kind of guessing right now. I'm, pl I'm playing this pretty much how I would play it for the first time, except I have had experience, and I know I know what I'm supposed to do. I just don't remember exactly how to do it, so so it's a little bit of an entertainment value that way, and it's not like me just fumbling around for quite a while. I think we just uh, surface, and I think we can land inside. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a treasure chest. What do we get? What do we get here? And it is super hot in my room right now. I'm just literally sweating just sitting here. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, that's not... Can't get into there. What? Um, there's gotta be a word, somewhere to drop in. Or not? I don't know. Okay, oh, 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 wait. We can push this in, so maybe that's what we do. See, like I'm saying, I don't know exactly what to do, but I have a good idea. I'm gonna leave that half pushed in because I probably won't need to push it in all the way. I'm thinking. All right, I guess you could do the blocks either way. You could push this one in and go in, or you could push that one in and get in. But the other one you have to pull out so that you can get. Eh, you pull out. Uh, oh, don't. No, 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 no. Yeah, land here. Good. All right, so let me just check above myself, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, this is no problem. Just walk between the the mines here. Um, what's this all about? I'll check that out in a second. Well, I'll check it out now. See what this is all about. Wait, wait, wait. What's happened? No! 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 No, dude! Why? Ugh. Come on. That's... A rip off. I think I just saw a treasure chest down there. Might have been rock, but I thought it looked like a treasure chest. So. Eh, uh, oh well. It's not too long of a trek to get back to where I was, so I'm not gonna cut anything. Why bother? Why bother? I'm gonna push this in all the way now. So, so that way it stays. Not that it really matters, but. Let's see if I can navigate this without hitting the walls. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Okay. Sweet. Don't get sucked in by that. Okay, that was a trap. Now I know that. Ooh, that was a smooth landing. Nice. Usually I just run into the wall when I jump out like that. So, okay. Let's, let's dive down so we can walk on the surface here and dodge these landmines without too much trubs. Oh, another treasure chest. Cool. 
I didn't get to ride all the rides at Cedar Point, unfortunately. Um, it was pretty darn busy. And, yeah, I just, wow. Not much I could do. Alright, I think this section needed to be a Goron. We need to lift that gate in order to get the, uh, in order to get the piece of heart. And, oh, okay, hang on. Um, let's get that out, and let's get the Goron mask out. I think we use the Goron mask to punch these. Yeah, just like that. Let's see if, let's see what doing this does. I have a feeling this doesn't open the gate, but I'm not really sure. It opens the, uh, the gate we need to progress further, not the uh, piece of heart. And maybe we can't do the piece of heart yet, but I'm not totally sure. No, okay, there we go. Oh, and that, that other gate is time sensitive, so. You need to do that quick, quick like. Oh! Kinda got lucky there. No! Dude! Alright, alright. We got this, we got this, we just need to be a little bit faster. Uh, let's get our bunny hood out, what the heck? Alright, bunny hood. Actually, you know what, we might not be able to push the switch down unless we're Goron. Oh, we can, sweet. Alright, run, 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 or you'll be well done. Okay, now there's a switch here, so we can open the gate again, so we're not stuck in here, so. No worries about that. Man, uh, this is probably one of my favorite Zelda swords, the Gilded Sword. It just looks so cool, and it's like just—it's a reforge of the Kokiri sword. So I think that's kind of badass in its own, its own way. Okay, um, we need to run up here, and what I'm gonna do is shoot this with an arrow and throw on my Zora mask and just dive and swim. All right, no probs. Just watch out for that landmine over there, or that sea mine. Bam! There we go. Uh, yeah, don't get sucked in by that current. I would do this right here. Just swim slowly until. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're good. And then we just have to climb up the ladder, and I think that brings us to the next main section here. Oh, okay. I didn't even... Oh, I see what's going on here. Just that. And, whoa. Okay, that was kind of weird. Uh, do we have to be a Zora? And then... What the... was going on? Oh, oh. That's kind of dirty. So this is timed, we don't stand I got I know what to do, alright. Just like just like this. Open that up, run over here, stand on this, and bam. And it lifts you up. Nice. Oh, what's up higher? Anything? Uh no. Not really. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we need to go up higher for anything. Uh, let's break these down with a Goron mask. Uh, so, I, I've mentioned a few times I have some special projects, and I'm getting quite a bit of work done on them, actually. Um, I was worried I wouldn't be able to do so much, but I, uh, one of them is going to involve uh, you guys, actually. Um, depending on how many people watch this and are interested. Um, yeah, so I'll let you know. What? As soon as we can do anything about that. What is this about? Link's not even tall enough to look in. Oh, right. So this is this is a little sneak peek at uh, the next section we get to deal with, and this is this is really the main section. And I'm pretty sure if any of these guards see you, they're gonna kick you out of the whole fortress. But uh, if you use the stone mask, you can literally walk up to him, hit him with a sword, and and not, you don't even have to worry about it. To get rid of these here, you just hit them into each other, like that. And yeah, let's see what this does. Oh, it opens up the door down there. Nice. 
Okay. Oh, we didn't roll when we landed. Oops. All right. So this is a. Uh, this is the next little area. Well, I mean, this is the pathway to the next area. See how we go outside here. If you have the hook shot, you can easy, quick shortcut from there to there. You don't even have to go through any of that bullcrap back then. So that'll be nice if we get that. So, all right. So we get the hot guru ladies to deal with now. Okay, well, I'm going to do all this next time, and that'll be an exciting episode, so stay tuned for that next time. See you guys later.